Hey, this is not Canario, and uh, as most of you know, last week we, uh, the Pepper community lost uh, one hell of a good guy in Frank Outson, or Reggae Franco 9. Um, I didn't know how to deal with it for a couple of days. It, it, I was angry and upset and pissed off and just wasn't ready for it. Um, probably a year, a year and a half ago, somewhere there is when I met him, he uh, messaged me on my channel and, you know, cool channel, bro, and check, you know, I, I subscribed and check out my channel, so, you know, I checked out his channel and I really liked what he was doing with uh, testing anything he could get his hands on. Uh, he really made me more aware of the different products that are out there that I was passing by and things like that, so. Uh, Everybody did a video in their own way, you know. Uh, you know, some did the R.I.P. thing, and then, you know, but all of them, all of them were great. And I didn't know how to, you know. This video was a little late, and I wanted to, you know, do a video on the first day, but I couldn't get through it. It's plain and simple. So I mean, I, I talked to him not verbally, but th through the computer the night before. Things had happened, and he, you know. Been trying to get him to get some peppers for me, and he said, "Yeah, you can burn me up, bro." But uh, so I had, I had the box ready, and then, of course, we all found out what happened. So after a couple of days of thinking, I think my approach to it was uh, going to be to honor him rather than to, you know, be sad about it. You know, all the videos were great. All you guys that took the time to make the videos for, you know, for Frank, that was I respect the hell out of that. So. But I think what I'm going to do, and maybe if it gets a decent response, I might keep it on because it always looked like fun when he did it, is uh, I'm going to honor him by doing what he did. So today we got uh, three products that I'm going to do uh, in honor of Frank. And it's things that he would like. And uh, let's get started. Okay. First we got the Doritos Flamas. Um, probably most of you have had them. I myself have not. I don't... Not a big chip eater because of the salt. I have a low tolerance of salt. I eat too much salt, and I got to get up forty-seven thousand times to get a drink, though. But uh, Doritos Flamas. Never had them yet, so here we go. Hmm. Not too bad. Lime, chili. It's nice. I mean, it could be a little hotter, but that's just me. So, good flavor on these, though. These are, uh, that's right up there with the sweet chili ones that I really like from these guys. Wanted to find some Takis, but I couldn't. Can't get them down south, I don't know, I guess. But, Doritos Flamas. It's, uh, I don't know, 6 out of 10, I get it. I'm not used to this rating scale stuff, but they're good. Yeah, I'd definitely eat those. Six out of ten for those. Next one we got is uh, the Cracker Jacked, which is also something I haven't tried yet. Been meaning to, but I don't know. I guess I just don't snack as much now that I've gotten older. So, but uh, this is the uh, intense, intense mixed Buffalo Ranch. So. That's a little harder to get into than I thought it was going to be. Sorry. Sorry for the delay there. There we go. Pieces like corn nuts and some pretzel pieces and things in there, so.
Not too bad. A little weak. But not too bad. Yeah, they don't. That didn't pack as much flavor as I thought it would. The flamas were far better than that. So, here, let me check the time on this. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay. Well, I don't know. I'd have to give that a 3 or 4 out of 10. Just didn't deliver. The, pe the corn pieces are kind of like corn nuts, but not as hard and crunchy and less flavorful. So, yeah. I don't know if I'd buy those again. And the last product um, was sent to me by Larry Papa Fish on YouTube. Check out his channel. He's got a good channel. And it's uh, BC Jerky, Rage and Buffalo Jerky. So, really looking forward to trying this. So, Papa Fish, if you're watching this, thanks very much for sending this. I've been looking forward to it. Wow, it's real thin. Okay. Hmm. Smells like normal. Hmm. That's really good. Don't know much about this company. You might want to ask Papa Fish or Larry if you if you know about it. This packs a lot of flavor. Real thin. It's not like trying to eat a a bicycle seat or anything like that. So it's good. But uh. Yeah, if you can find this or wherever it's located at, I recommend trying it. It's very, very good. It's not salty and typical flavored like a lot of your mass-produced jerkies. Excellent, excellent. I give that an eight, eight or nine out of ten. Yeah, that's. I'll go ahead and give that a nine. That's good. Just a lingering amount of heat. It's nothing that's going to smash anybody. I mean, I've I've had a few jerkies that people have made that. Have, made my stomach do bad things so that's kind of a medium ground there I think everybody could eat that so anyway it's my first run doing this uh, I'm probably gonna try to do this once a month just uh, just in honor of in honor of Frank uh, I miss him a lot um, he was just a cool guy to talk to and uh, he'd message him at 2 and 3 in the morning you know and I, I, I'm an insomniac. I can't sleep very well. So you, you think, okay, well, I'll hear from him in the morning, and then five minutes later, he's back answering back at you. So he was just, it's like he was always there, which was really cool. And uh, anyway, uh, Frank, that was for you. So, but, you know, rest in peace. You're in a better place now, and uh, we're all going to miss you. So. Everybody take care.